We're digging deeper into an issue that impacts every single one of us, those menacing robocalls. You know, it is the number one complaint to the FTC and FCC. You've told us how annoying they are and how it's impossible to get them to stop. Local 24 News morning anchor uh, John Paul has talked with fed up viewers like you who are frustrated with the calls. And he's investigating how big of a problem those cars all calls are rather right here in the Mid-South. These days, this is the sound of a major and frequent annoyance. A complaint has been filed against you. If, if it comes up as a, a random number or a, a known, I don't pick up the phone. For Erin Corbett, when the phone rings, she expects the same old, same old. So they're all basically student loan calls or the majority of them are auto insurance calls. Robocallers call early. This message is from the Social Security. And often. UMail's robocall index shows that more than 4 billion robocalls were placed in April of 2021. And here's how it breaks down. 147.6 million every single day. That's more than 6 million an hour. Nearly 2,000 a second. On average, we get robocalls about 14 times a day. And the problem has gotten worse in Memphis. UMail's data shows that per capita, Memphis ranked second in the country for the top affected areas in April, with more than half of the calls coming from telemarketers. It's frustrating that we, we don't have harsher penalties or better abilities to identify calls. Andrew Nayrod is an attorney who represents businesses and helps them comply with the Telephone Consumer Protection Act. He tells me there's a reason cracking down on the calls and text isn't easy. And so you wind up having people that uh, make these telephone calls uh, from other countries and you can't track them, you, you can't enforce uh, certain laws in order to stop them from doing illegal things. As the number of calls break records, so do the number of complaints to the Federal Communications Commission. Three out of every four complaints to the FCC are for unwanted robocalls. Thousands of those complaints are from the Memphis area. While states like Tennessee have enacted laws to increase penalties for unwanted callers who provide false caller ID information. Now is the time to act. The problem is loud and clear. And unfortunately, experts tell me it isn't going away. I think it is just something you live with. It's the reason Aaron and many others are ready to ring the alarm, saying enough already with the call. Obviously, the do not call list don't work. Um, I don't know of another way to get this to stop. Our coverage doesn't end there. Tuesday at 10, we talked to a lawyer who represented a woman who sued and won a six-figure settlement against a company that used robocalls and texts to remind her to pay her bill, hundreds of them. And we have resources to help you limit the number of robocalls and texts that you might receive. Links to sign up for the Do Not Call list and how to file complaints to the FCC about all those calls. Just text robocalls to the number here on the screen, 901-321-752. Zero. In the studio tonight, I'm John Paul, Local 24 News.